Good morning guys and welcome back to our channel. Hope you're having a fantastic day. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button and if you enjoy the video today, give it a big thumbs up. Hey you, I want to talk to you for one quick second, okay? High five, high freaking five. Boom! A couple days ago, Ellie and Jackson sat down and they did a little ring, uh, what do you call those? A, a ring chart or something like that where Jackson will do jobs and save money for a what? A, a dirt bike. A dirt bike. And I love this. I think it's the greatest thing, showing kids that they can earn something by doing work. And Jackson came up to me yesterday and it was the cutest thing. He said, Dad, what can I do to earn a dollar today? And I thought, oh my goodness, I have anything at my disposal that you could do for me. So what did he do yesterday? Jackson, What? tell me what you did last night before you went to bed. Watch TV. <laughs> No, what chore did you do before you went to bed last night? I picked up the basement. Yes, you did. And I have to say, it looks absolutely incredible. It looks so good. Now, mind you, it was a huge disaster yesterday. They had all of these tracks running everywhere. The balls were everywhere. All of these drawers were emptied out. And you picked it up by yourself and you earned yourself a dollar. Boom, baby, that's my boy. I'm so proud of you. I think it's very important to instill the value of work to kids as they grow up. Obviously it goes to certain degrees when they're at certain ages, but teaching them that is very important, that there's, there's a dollar at the end of it, there's a reward at the end of the work. And sometimes, just because this is what we do in our house, sometimes there's not. Sometimes you just have to do chores because this is our house. So we've got our list here, and what's the next one? I think this one. Okay, let's see. Oh, dog poop. Do you want to pick up dog poop today? You do? Let's see what's on this side. Make breakfast. Well, we already had breakfast, huh? So maybe we can do that another day. I wonder if there's one that's like help dad in the garage. Do you think there's one that says help dad in the garage? Let's see. Work. Oh, work with dad. Work with dad. We've got some work to do in the garage. Do you want to help me out today? Okay, I think that's a great idea. Are you gonna take that one off? Why don't you wait until we're all the way, okay. Yep, that works too. <laughs> and when we're all done with it, we can. Oh no! Uh oh, we'll just put that one back on. When we're all done with that, I'll give you a dollar or something like that. We'll see what you do and what value is associated with it. We'll put it back on. Are you gonna be my helper today too? Okay, we gotta back this up right over to where the trailer is, right where Jackson is. Thumbs up! Yeah! Look, we've got our helper. He's backing us up. Oh, good job, Jackson. You're doing great. Am I looking okay? Good job. Thanks, bud. Now that we're backed up, we have to hook up the trailer so we can pull the trailer out and then clean the garage. You up for the task, buddy boy? That's an affirmative from you. I five. Bam, baby. The last time that we had the garage empty like this is when we had a giant trampoline park in the garage. Do you remember that? That was so much fun. And I'll have those videos like in a playlist somewhere in the description in the iCard so you guys can check out. That was the best, having a trampoline park in our garage, huh? But I got the trailer out and here's my job for you, Jackson, in order to get a dollar or something like that. For a motorcycle. Yep. We need to sweep out the garage. So, I've got a big room right here, and your job today is to sweep out the garage. So look right over here. We got like lots of dirt My and job? bark. Yep, your job. That's you, a big one. Mm-hmm. You've got to sweep okay. that stuff and get it into one big pile, and then we'll throw it in the garbage. I want you to try and get as much as you can all the way around here, okay? Do you think you can do that for me? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yep, and see all that dirt from the four wheeler? Yeah. We want to try and get that too. Yeah. Got it? You can do it, bud. You're a big boy and a big helper. And in the meantime, I think we have someone who just woke up from their nap. <gasps> do I hear you? Here comes the light. <gasps> Hi. Hi, buddy. Good morning. How are ya? Is it so bright? I'm sorry it's so bright. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want some food? <gasps> I said food. You want some food? <laughs> okay, let's go. Dada? Da. Are you talking to me? Uh. We're going to be working in the garage. Drastic times call for drastic measures. We've got to get Tommy buckled up here. So I've got my hands for you to do what I need to do. These things are so convenient, but sometimes they can be a pain to get on. Watch your fingers. <laughs> All right, you got your working gloves on? Yeah. Let's get back to work. Ellie can do this without help. I can do this without help, huh? Where's that strap? Some help. <laughs> All right, Jackson. Do you see the buckle? That need. Do you see this buckle right here? Yeah. And then this strap. Can you yeah. strap them together? Yeah. Now pull it really tight. Pull a little bit. Here, can you put it in my hand? Now let's see if I can do this. Hello. I'm working on the garage. I'm so. Big. Hey, baby Tommy. Hey. Maybe I got it. I think I got it. All right, buddy boy, dad mode is initiated. I think we are all set and ready to rock and roll. You ready? Let's get some work done in this garage. Oh, I'm like, ooh, no throwing up on me. Please do not throw up on me. I literally just got you in here. Please don't throw up on me. Oh, I'm exhausted now. I think I did enough work for the whole day just trying to get him in here. I hold a quarter, a quarter. Now this will decide our fate of our Friday night. It's 25 cents. It is, that's what a quarter is. So last time we flipped a coin, we said we would either go to the trampoline park or the fun park. This time, here's what we're gonna do. Oh sorry, the jump zone or the trampoline park. So today, Friday, what we're going to do, since mom is out of town, I have a coin ready to flip. Heads is we're gonna go to the fun park. Tails is we're gonna do what Jackson wants to do. Okay, that's what we're gonna have. Ready? I hope it is. <laughs> One, two, three. What is it? What is it? Mm. Tails! Tails, that means we get to do what Jackson wants to do. Jackson, what do you wanna do? Go to the fun park. Go to the fun park, let's go to the fun park, yeah! to the fun park. Look at all this cool stuff that we have. <gasps> and look at that cute little baby. I have 100 tokens for us to 100? split. 100? 100. I'm gonna put half of them here. You take that one, you take that one, and then let's go have some fun. I'm gonna do whatever I want. Oh my, God. oh my goodness gracious, look at all these tickets. I don't know what we're gonna do with all of them. They're all of our tickets. I think we found a pretty good game. 707 tickets. 
we could probably get a few good prizes with that. And Calvin, you even have some more. Should we go pick our prizes? Who had the best time ever? Yay! You guys did so good. Jackson got a fan. Calvin got a hot dog and some dum-dums. We got some goodies down there too. Calvin, you got a cool fidget spinner, huh? You like that? Sweet. We're listening to music and Jackson will try and read uh, the song that's playing. We're listening to the Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse soundtrack and it's one of Jackson's favorite albums because he can see the eyes of Spider-Man in there. So what I wanna do, I wanna skip the song and I want you to see if you can read it, Jackson, okay? Ooh, this one's a hard one. I want to see. Uh huh. Orange. You're getting so close. Keep trying. Memories. There you go. Good work. What's memories. Memories. What's memories? It's like something you remember. I'm about to say a few things, but let me preface something before I say those things because they might paint me in a different picture, and I need to preface this. I know I'm not a single parent. <laughs> I know that, but. Lately, with Ellie being gone on her Bali trip and now this little retreat, um, it may not seem like it because of the weekends and everything, but she's been gone for about a week and a half with like one or two days in between uh, where she's come home. And I feel like this week I've been a single parent. And I get it. Like, I totally understand I'm not, obviously, but. I want to say that I feel like I felt a tiny, tiny bit of what that is like. So my heart goes out to you single parents or parents who are um, in the military and your spouse is at home with the kids. I totally, my heart goes out to you guys. It's been tough, but it's been so good. Obviously Jackson and Calvin and Tommy are a dream come true and they make life easy. But I'm exhausted, it is 7 p.m. and my feet are hurting and I haven't gotten near as much done as I've wanted to. So what happens when the kids go to bed, that's when I'm gonna start the second shift of Jared being a dad and a husband and a father and a sleepy boy. Oh my gosh, I'm tired. But in all seriousness, parenting is a very, very difficult thing to do with two people let alone one person. And I know I say this just about every time Ellie goes out of town. <laughs> so this might, I might sound like a broken record, but I really am thinking of you guys. I really hope that you're doing well. Know that you're doing better than you think. Yes. Uh huh. Oh really? And even your kids understand and know that you're doing pretty dang good. So give yourself a pat on the back, lift your chin up, I'm saying this to myself too, and keep going. Keep, take one more step forward in the right direction and you're gonna be doing great. Should we get these guys to bed so I can keep, so I can get back to what I want to do before Ellie gets home? There you go, buddy. Oh my goodness gracious. I really hope it doesn't make me sound like pathetic or anything, but I just basically wanna say like I understand at least for a fraction of what it really is like and my heart goes out to you guys. <laughs> you just love to go between the legs. I don't know what it is. All right, I gotcha. It's been a good day, hasn't it? Woo! <laughs> it has been a good day. Jackson was such a good helper today. Calvin was so good to just be by me and be so into what I was doing and cleaning. He was so good. And then Tommy is just a dream. It was a good day, a good week. Without mommy, we did good, we survived, huh? Um. <laughs> Didn't we, Penny? <laughs> so we're gonna call it a night. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a big thumbs up, and we will see you guys next time. Say bye, Penny. <laughs> bye, guys.